Hello, savages. Well, I guess I'm going to do another beer review today, and this will definitely be the last beer review of the day. Because this beer is, well, it, it's a little, well, okay, it's, it's a lot it's high octane. It's really strong. Well, not only that really strong, but a pretty good size format here. See, in Minnesota, which is the state I live in, breweries cannot sell out of the brewery in size. They can only, or I shouldn't say, they can only sell out of the brewery in two sizes. Either a 64 ounce or a 750 milliliter, which is 25.4 ounces. Well, tonight I'm going to be doing a crawler, which is a canned crawler from a brewery called Boom Island Brewing Company out of Minnetonka, Minnesota. Here is the front of the label, crawler. And tonight we're going to do barrel-aged collusion. It's a Russian Imperial Stout. It clocks in at 11% ABV. It was canned on 11-16-2020. So, less than about a month and a half old here, here on uh, January 3rd, 2021. I, now first off, I will say I've never had regular Boom Island collusion. This will be my first uh, Boom Island collusion beer, and it's going to be the barrel aged one. So... Like I said, it's a 750 milliliter crawler, pretty good size, a little too big if you ask me. I really wish our state laws would get fixed, but, you know, we're in the state, as Joe Souchere says, the state where absolutely nothing is allowed, <laughs> especially this year. <laughs> but we're going to pour it into the, of course, savages glass because we're all savages here. We are savage, and I am definitely savage for popping this bad boy open tonight. So, um, now let's see here. I'm probably not going to be able to get it by hand opened. Well, maybe I can. Thought I would have to, well, thought I'd have to, like, uh, get my can opener or something, bottle opener to help pry open the top, but got the top opened. So here we go, we'll pour it into the glass. Obviously I'm not going to be able to fit the whole beer in the glass, about 16 something ounces. But, first off, I'll get the can out of the way. We can see it's about a two finger, and the head looks to me kind of lighter tan. Now, the retention is actually pretty damn good for an 11% beer. I mean, this is sticking around an awful long time. You know, there's probably no lacing, going to be lacing on the glass. Maybe some, maybe a little bit. Kind of seems to cling to the side. Maybe, a, well, I shouldn't go into... Canadian units or foreign units, but maybe a fraction of an inch, maybe a sixteenth of an inch above where the layer of the foam drops off above. It clings to the glass just a little bit. But there's really no lacing. If I swirl around, it doesn't it, like really stick or anything like that. You know, d yeah, no, no real lacing to the glass. Now, I have had this beer in my fridge, but I took it out about 20 or so minutes ago, so it's had a chance to warm up. I mean, I could stick a temperature probe into it to see if it's at the 50 to 55 degree Fahrenheit range, which a stout like this should be at 50 to 60, well, even 50 to 60, somewhere in that range. That's where a stout... A Russian Imperial Stout should be consumed at. Because if it's colder, you're not going to get all the, um, the, the, the flavor profiles, the, the aromas and all that 
if you have a stout like this, super cold, you're not going to get all the complexity. So you got to have it 50, at least 50 degrees. I'd say somewhere between 50 and 60. You don't want it necessarily room temperature. You could do it, but I'd say 50 to 60 is the ideal temperature for starting to consume this beer. Now, I'd say the look, you know, it was fairly thick pouring beer. So I'd say it was about a four, I'd say 425 to 450. Now to the aroma. Okay, well, obviously I'm getting barrel notes here. You know, it's like a dark fruit, you know, like a raisin or a plum aroma that, that, that you get from these type of barrel aged beer, Russian Imperial Stouts, you know, maybe a little, you know, I'm also, like I said, I get the, the, the plum, the, the raisin, but then I get a little bit of chocolate, maybe a bit of caramel here on the nose. So, you know, those are good flavor profiles for a Russian Imperial Stout. So, yeah, the aroma is good. I'd say about a 425 to 450 because it's right where it should be. It, well, like I said, the dark fruit, the plum, the barrel, you know, that, that really comes in strong. You know, the chocolate, the caramel, the top, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of toffee. You know, those kind of things are a little bit more mellow and muted, but that's to be expected. Now to the taste, savages. Cheers. And again, like I said, this is Barrel Age Collusion from Boom Island Brewing Company. Cheers, savages. Wow. Wow. Well, first off, I'll say I'm, I'm not a super taster, so I don't get all the the flavors and the aroma of somebody who has the, the palate that I do not have. But it's really dark and rich. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting obviously a lot of chocolate, a lot of dark fruit, you know, plum, raisin, that kind of stuff. A little toffee, caramel, caramel. I, I already said caramel. Sorry, I apologize. But toffee. But then I get... A little bit of smoke I was like whoa you don't even get that from a Russian Imperial Stout normally but yeah I'm getting a little smoke here too at least it, on the backside you know it, it, the, the, the smoke it's not very strong it's kind of mellow but it hits on the backside Yep, no, there's definitely smoke there, and yeah, it hits on the backside. You know, it's it's rich and full and thick, tasting, and obviously feeling. Um, you know, there's probably even a little bit of hoppiness to this. You know, not not a lot, but just kind of a little bit on. You know, the backside's not the best word to describe it, but, you know, there there's a little bit of hop, slight, just a little slight bit of hops mixed into this. You know, it's not backside, but, you know, just not muted. I, I, I can't think of the right word for it. But, yeah, there's a slight hoppiness to this that, that just adds extra to the flavor, and I'd say it's probably about a 4 or 5 out of 5. Yeah, there's there. I'm I'm real. Like I said, I'm really getting this smoky, multi smoke flavor, and I I'm a big fan of multi smoke. Well, I'm a big fan of smoke flavors. I really like the Ox Sharknella beers because those are I love smoke beers. I love Rush beers, and. You know, that's kind of almost getting me that that flavor profile here in this beer here. 
you know, but but not as strong, obviously. But it's more of a backside flavor. But yeah, malty, rich chocolate, dark fruit, all that stuff, caramel, toffee. You got this here. This is a good beer. The body is, I'll take another sip to get you a good scientific example of the body. You know, it's got almost a creamy feel to it. You, you would think it, it would be boozy. I mean, there's a slight, just a hint of booziness to this. It doesn't have that alcohol burn, or very minimal, very minimal alcohol burn. Rich, thick, boozy, creamy, almost. Yeah, I'd say creamy. You know, again, I'd say a four or five. Overall, yeah, I, I'd say barrel age collusion. Like I said, I've not had the regular. It's a Russian Imperial Stout. Boom Island releases it once a year in the fall. You know, this is a good beer. This is, no, this is a damn good beer. It is a good Russian Imperial Stout. Really full, really thick, really flavorful. You know, like I said, it's got a you know, nice boozy flavor. But, I mean, it's, like I said, I probably can't describe it the best. But I highly recommend this. And the place where I work has a few cans of this. And I'm probably going to be getting at least one more, or maybe two. And probably some of you savages might be getting some of these. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but, you know, no, seriously. Um, I'd say this is a 4.5 overall. A 4.5 out of 5. And I highly recommend this beer. You know, I'm glad Boom Island crawlered it up. And it's a damn good beer. And I highly recommend it. So, yeah, a 4.5 out of 5. All I can say is to my savage friends, cheers savages, kampai.